Hello, welcome to Quantitative Reasoning Solution section. And today we have Quantitative Reasoning from Lantern Step Book 5, page 63. Thank you for joining in today. And to our new viewers, kindly subscribe to this channel. Like, subscribe to this channel, leave your comments. And uh, for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. And if you're a teacher, kindly join our teacher's community and the link is found in the description section. All right. So here we have uh, quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step, book 5, page 63. All right. So we have this problem. We have 4, 6, 24, 10. And here we have 3, 5. 15, 8, and here we have 3, 4, 12, and 7. All right, so we're going to be working with two examples. So to find 24, we simply have 6 times 4 is 24, All right? To find 10, we're going to have 6 plus 4 is 10. All right, so if we want to find either 6 or 10, we either add or 6 or 4, we either add or subtract. So to find 6, we can say 10 minus 4 is 6, or we can have 24, 24 divided by 4 is 6, okay? And to find, to find 4, we have 10 minus 6 is 4 or 24 divided by 6 is 4. Okay, so let's work with this example and see if we would get the same answer. To find 12, we have 4 times 3 is 12 and to find 7, we have 4 plus 3 is 7. So to find 3, we can say 7 minus 4 is 3. Or we can have uh, 12 divided by 4 is 3. And lastly, to find, don't forget to subscribe, like, subscribe to this channel. So to find 4. We have 7 minus 3 is 4, or 12 divided by 3 is 4. Alright, so do well to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and math problems. And if you're a teacher, kindly join the teacher's community. The link is in the description section. Bye.